vegetables have been made by, by cooking. Not only those who praise it, those who are emotionally attached but those who criticize it, even he has acknowledged it. So that's a few points I have to come to show you next one. And this is a family translation with Parimeya Lagagar. Parimeya Lagagar is called the king of human faith. With such a knowledge of personality, he lived in 13th century. It's about 700 years ago. And he has written a common sense telling that he relied on the way of Next. This is a very critical edition by Kaili Jagannara. Here also we can see and then it seems to be very clear what has come out of the spiritual of the past of the world and the world. Next. This is related to Manushmi. Whatever Manu has said in his first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, fourth chapter, spiritual follows the same sequence and gives in the first one the life of the student, student. The second one he is about the married life, Grahastha, Grahastha Dharma. He is the real, he is the real. And then the third one is Tapas. And the fourth one is Sanya. That's what is described in one country. What are the rules and what are the things that we have to follow? The same thing through the world has adopted the same sequence. And some of the factors have been said in that sequence. This is 1886 publication of the uh, GU4. One year earlier there was another father, Father Lazarus. He also translated very truly objective, good translation, but he doesn't say all what the GU4 has said. The earliest literature of India are where we know they have decided. In the whole world there is one system which has been desired with a written form but simply by communication some value is Veda and so UNESCO has given it a special recognition as one contribution the method of preserving some value without change for nearly 5,000 years and that is Veda. So we fall back upon Veda to understand what is the culture of the people, of these people. Right. Then, we have an uh, earlier uh, compilation of law. The first friend, for a civilized life, you must have law. And that which sustains the life, Sustained to civilize the life is law, and so they said that they called it as dharma, and man dharma is the earliest that is available about Indian life, and also whole of the history. We have in Cambodia an inscription which says that I am ruling according to the rules of Vaivarsha Manu in Sanskrit in Cambodia, thousand miles away on the other side. Vedas are called the Sulti, only preserving the sound and understanding the pronunciation. The other one is called the Smriti, recollection. So Manu has recollected what has been there in law for in Veda, that he has codified it, and that is called the Smriti. Next. Manu defines a wonderful, he gives a wonderful definition. I think that this is translated and sent to all the judges of India. They will understand what is Indian law. There he says, Dharma as that which is adored by learned men. This is his definition. Dharma is that which is adored by learned men. They may be learned, but they may not be honest. 
play it must be necessary, they must be learned and also honest men. Satu. And that occasional honesty is not sufficient. It must be always honest. So nityam, nityam. And then they must be purely impartial. There, there are no personal liking and dislike. So he said, Advesha Rajivhi. Advesha Rajivhi. Not all these qualifications are sufficient. He also says one more. Have you reflected it in your heart of heart that this is correct? Now, now they say, have well, you deliberated it in your mind? But that was that about nearly 4,000 years ago, 3 to 4,000 years ago. Then why was that about? Next. Friends, uh, I have analyzed the Raja Sasana, the royal order issued in Assad, in Bihar, in Madhya Pradesh, in what you call Orissa, in Gujarat, in Maharashtra, in uh, Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu, and also in Kerala. All over this country, we have got records issued from 1st century BC or 2nd century BC down and they all follow Anushadha. That means from Himalaya to Ramasya, Sanyakini, this is the one law book. There may be small uh, dynasty ruling here, another dynasty ruling there, another dynasty ruling there, but only law that has followed all over. And they specifically mentioned it in the Roman royal order that he follows Manuka. In Tamil Nadu, all the things you have ruled, they have specifically mentioned in Manu Darsita Bhagyatina. Manu. And Manu was the originator of the Cholas. So Cholas come in the line of Manu. And that's why they say Manu Nidhi. In our friend, uh, Kalanya, he has introduced a weekly uh, going to the people and asking for what is happening. I think this uh, weekly, it's called Manunidi. Without my, they say we don't want Manunidi, but till day, from its beginning to till day, till Kalanya, Tamil Nadu follows Manunidi. And uh, that is the uh, uh, now, what is the first part? That is what is called Adam, Adma. Personal life. Life of man and community. Conjugal life. Final age of literary. All these things are all mentioned in the first book. The first book are Dharma Shastra. That is Adapta But because only the marrying man supports all the other three asramas. They gave preference to married life. Grahastha is the foremost life. And all the other three, the Brahmachari and Sarvashri and also the Sanyasi, they have to different to the other. So, there is a Sanskrit saying, what is Griha? Griha is Griham, Griham, Your house is not house. Griham, Griham, Your wife is house. House is not just Griham, the success, but it is your wife who makes it Griham. Griham, Grihini, Where there is no Grihini who understands the life of yourself, that is like Aranya. This is the way. So, as Kornar says, in the land, what we are, what you want to get if you have got a lovely wife at home, and what you learn is to start misusing your life. So, respect for women is not new, feminism is not something new. The first thing our children are taught in the beginning, Master Devo, your mother is God, who has brought you, who has taken care of you, she is 
they repair themselves to be good citizens. So we are the great man called the Agnya Vidya. Interestingly, Indian law was never static. Where it should be, it remains. Where there need to be changed, they have accepted the change. Just there is an example of Manu Dharma Shastra does not refer to written Dharma. But Yakivalitya, who came about 300 years later, he speaks about Lekha Prama. Written document as a as a valid document. is what it was evident. Next. Now, my next question. This is how our children have taught. The whole of the Veda has been taught. Uh, Aksharam. You understand the great God through Aksharam. Sound. Through sound. So the children have taught how to pronounce the word. It is called Aksharadhyaya. That's what Valuva says. Agara Mujala Yedithala Adi Bhagavan Mudakte this is exactly what is there in Akshara, Akshara Nyayam. That is what one would say. Next one. These are children learning. And there is one. Even now we have the uh, tradition of going and touching the legs, feet of great men. This is called Father Parsana. That means we get the blessing to the elderly people knowledge to, to, to behave ourselves. And so this is called Bharas Parsan and Viksha. Viksha, the children used to go and get Viksha. There was never a charge on education in ancient times. And uh, so they would go around, take Viksha, and this is now born in India, but it is still preserved in Thailand where the small children go around in the shop. It's all there is to test complete knowledge of one friend. I have taught many people after coming from the school. Uh, can you tell me one good verse without mistake? No good mistake. Not even one verse committed to memory of the verses creative and devotional verses taught in our school. Because we don't believe in committing to memory. Our party, our politician system is going to be. But the fellow doesn't know. This is a tested, tested program for nearly 4,000 years, which is true, which is the greatest method of community. And that is how the uh, examination is going on and by the next one. Next. Uh, next. I want to tell you, just go on to the there are many monuments here. These are the contributions of Tamils. The Tamils in, in Tamil Nadu, like Mahabhipur, Mahalapur, Sanjipur, or the great temple of Tandu, the greatest temple of Tandu, and so on. You cannot understand them without the knowledge of Tamil. What is the scale? What is the proportion? How they calculated it before and had a ground plan and elevation all in mind and then they built one of the greatest, greatest temples as a temple. The king who built it was Raja Raja Swara. He ruled at 1080, 1080. And he died in that in his own God, Yetat Vishwa Drupa Sreni Mauli Mala Uttaradha Sasanam Raja Raja Chya Raja Kesari Varma So the first verse he writes is in Sanskrit. Next he goes on to say what was the conquest he made. 
and then he say Tanjavu Nam Meditita Sirit Katri Sri Raja Raji Nishkan Udayayati Nam Kuruttanavu Nam Akkan Kuruttanavu Matrum Pendigal Kuruttanavu Parta Kuruttanavu Kalli Meditita This is all that he has given and which is written on the story. Remember, he had a chief queen, Loka Mahadevi. When Raja Raja built the temple at Tanju, she built the temple at Tiruvayari and made the name from there. There she has given an order, exactly like Raja Raja. I, the queen of Raja Raja, order that all the gifts I have made, be written on the walls of this temple, in the temple built by me as Loka Mahadevi. And so Chola said, whatever right the king gets on the gate of coronation, the queen also has the same right. And she also can give the same order, and that is exactly, exactly shown in time. And another important point is, that she appointed women as the administrative officer at Tiruvaya. We think that we are trying to do uh, power to women only now and feminist and something like that we talk about. Thousand years ago, or even two thousand years ago, when you marry your wife, you give a promise to her that you are part of me and whatever right I have, you are. And that is again and again repeated in our law. So we have several instances where the women had right to own property, inherit property. Girls can inherit property. They have the right, the girls have another right, that mother's property, jewels, etc., goes to the girl. This is also mentioned in the uh, Dhanata. So, other people also thought they also claim the law, not for the white right man to come and tell them, you are to another. One fellow says they are not a noble people, what is they are in the In the 18th century, uh, British said they come and write all types of rabbit about their culture. Please go through the reports are there, see how uh, people have thought about it. And there has been a problem, not static. And that is a witness in uh, what is called Yajna Vitesh Muti. There is a written man, a written elder, late Chakrama, next one. Now, I am showing you a few verses. I, I don't take much time, but I want you to see that there is a plural uh, verse. An exact translation you find it earlier in what is called Marvin Dharmasa. And Mr. Bob has given in 58 places Manu Dharmasatra, which has been adapted by two of them. Look at that. Suvai, Oli, U, Ochai, Nath. These are the five senses with which we understand taste, experience, and entering by Bahai Kedima, Vam Kedima, which is the third word. But the exact words are there in Manu as Sritva, Sritva, Dhritva, Bhutva, and Vamotva. Hello, Araha, Maharshati, Lahayati, Pitne, Araha, Jitain, Pitne. That translation, Asher Kertu, and our friend, what do you call it? Pope, which is the exact translation. Next. In another, another, where to where translate? Ata, Amata. When the devil went down and he was going to be translated, not the manus will be translated by the devil. 